everyone, so today's video is going to be about my running journey, how I got started on running and what are my tips if you want to begin to run. So a little bit about my So a little bit about my running history. When I was a kid, I loved to run. I would go out with my dad and we'd go every Sunday for a nice run around the block. As a kid, I also played a lot of tennis, so running was really a part of my life. But as I say in my intro video, as a teenager, I wasn't doing anything at all. Um, I was supposed to run in gym class, but I really never did it. I was really, really bad. And every time I ran, I was really out of breath within four minutes. I was red, I was feeling really hot, and I just couldn't handle it. But um, when I moved back to Brussels, that would be two years ago now, um, I wanted to start running, so I would go out the door with my boyfriend, take really crappy shoes that I had, which were basically sneakers, but not the kind of sneakers that you do sports in, it's more like fashionable sneakers kind of thing. Um, we would go out the door, I tried to run, but every time I failed, I couldn't do even one kilometer as it was. Really, really bad, so we decided to subscribe to a gym, and I started working out at the gym. It wasn't until the end of last year that I decided that I wanted to become a runner. The reason behind that was that um, the gym where I go to is only six or seven kilometers away from where I live, but it can seem like really long distance, especially during rush hours. So I don't always want to take the car and you know, spend 30 minutes just to go to a gym. And I also suffer from insomnia, so sometimes I will be awake at 5 a.m. and it will be day outside. And I really wanted to be active, but I couldn't do any sports in the apartment because I would wake my boyfriend up. So um, I decided that running might be a good experience for me. I travel quite a bit as well, so I thought it would be a great way to exercise while I'm on a holiday and to discover new places by running and things like that. So I decided to start to run, but the things that I really needed the motivation, that's the first point I want to mention is that you need motivation. You need to ask yourself why you want to start running. Is that because you want to lose weight? Is that because you want to spend more time outdoors? You want to train for a marathon? No matter what, you need to find something that will keep you going and you need to set yourself goals. So if you want to lose weight, you can set yourself the goal that you want to start running two or three times a week, you want to start eating healthy. If you train for a marathon, go online and find um, a program that will help you to train correctly. If you want to spend more time outdoors, just find a park near where you live, where you can go for a run, things like that. You need to set yourself goals. So for example, if you never run, you can set yourself a goal that for a month, you will go running three times a week. It might seem like a lot, but it really motivates you and if for example you say that every Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday you'll be off running, make time for it. If you have a planner, put a time in your planner when you go out to run. Um, make it an appointment, something that you can't make it a commitment, make it an appointment in your planner that you can't cancel. No matter if it's before you go to work, if it's at 9 p.m., make it an appointment that you can't cancel. It will really help you to stay motivated. Um, another great way to source inspiration, go on Pinterest, go on Tumblr, search for cool images, search for tips, tricks, um, buy yourself colorful clothes, um, you know, just make it fun, make it happen. Another good idea is to find a friend that you can go and run with. This way you won't cancel because you have kind of a commitment and this way you will push each other forward and that's a really nice thing. And that's spending time with your friends and that's something that we all love. My second tip, which is something that I consider compulsory, buy yourself really good quality running shoes. When I started running, I didn't have any good running shoes and I wasn't really good partially because of my shoes. So at the end of last year, I ordered these Nike Free Run, these are the 5 Plus, I think. They have the Nike Plus thingy on the inside. These are incredible. I ordered them on Nike ID because I couldn't find a color that I really like. These are the best running shoes I've ever had. Um, these are really what got me started on running because they are so comfortable, so light. Um, because of the Nike Plus, I have the Nike Plus running up on my iPhone. It keeps track on my kilometers, everything I do. It really helps me to stay motivated. Um, they are cute. I just love them. and. 
You know, just because you have good running shoes, you can really feel it when you run, you don't have any ankle pain or anything like that, you don't feel sore afterwards. It really helps you really maintain your feet and, and this is something that you really want to invest money in. It doesn't matter what t-shirt you're wearing, what leggings you're wearing, just buy yourself good running shoes. I know it's expensive, I think you can find pretty good ones for 70 euros, but a really good pair will set you at 100, 120 euros. Buy good shoes, buy pretty shoes that you want to wear and it will make a huge difference. My third tip is to learn, learn, learn. You can never learn too many things, you know, buy a magazine, go online, go search, you know, info, tips and tricks. Find a running program, that's one of the first things I did. I wanted to be able to run 5 kilometers, so I found something where for a week I would run 1 kilometer, then 1 point two and a half then 1.5 it was really good it really helped me try to find tips go online go to women's health go to um, fat sugar go everywhere you want but source information about just about anything about running what you, what you should eat before you run after you run uh, what's the best time to work out all that kind of thing you know go go out the door buy a magazine do anything you want but learn a lot of info about it. It will help you to run without hurting yourself and you'll be happy afterwards. My fourth tip is that if you have a smartphone, there's a ton of apps that will help you to run and to stay motivated. The very specific one I want to talk about is my all-time favorite one. It's called Nike Plus Running and that's something amazing. If you have Nike shoes with this little thing, your shoes will be connected to your phone, otherwise you can always buy a sensor and clip it on your shoes. But basically you go onto the app and you say that you want to run, you can tell if you want to, if you want to run outdoors, indoors, um, if you want music, if you want to hold your phone or if it's in a pocket. Um, you can set yourself goals, you can um, say that you want to run for 20 minutes, you can say that you want to run for a mile, you can, um, as I said, set yourself goals. So for example, you say you want to run four times a week. It really reminds you when you need to run. You can share your progress on Facebook, Twitter, every social media that you can think about. And it really helped me to stay motivated because, you know, you see on the app that you run four kilometers and you say, okay, I'll go till the end of the street. And it pushes you forward and it's something that I use every single time I go for a run. I just put on my Nike shoes, start my Nike Plus app and I'm out the door. It really helps me to stay motivated. My fifth tip is start when you know you will be able to run. Don't start in January when there's snow and ice, you won't be able to run. Um, don't start running if you go on a vacation for two weeks next week. It's not gonna happen. Try to start when you know that you will have time to run and to recover because when you first start running you will be sore afterwards, you really need to stretch to avoid that. I think for the first month you start running it's going to be really hard. You will need time to recover between runs, you will need time to run, to stretch, to learn about running. So make sure that you have plenty of time, that you don't have any exams, any deadlines at work, that you're not going anywhere. Just make time and take time to run and to really appreciate it. So I think that's about it for my tips and tricks on running. If you have any good tips or if you want to share your running history, just pop a comment down below. I would love to know and I'm sure that there's other people that die to know your tips and everything like that. Another thing that I want to mention is that I'm currently off running and it drives me nuts. I've been off running ever since the month of April, I think. I had a knee injury when I was 14 years old, but that was pretty much solved until last year when I started to have knee pain. So I went to see a doctor this year and basically, um, I don't know the name of it in English and it's pretty difficult in French anyway, but basically my left knee gets damaged every time I walk, every time I run. So I currently do physical therapy twice a week it is awful, I suffer a lot, um, but I really need to build muscle around my knee and I'm currently off running, it drives me nuts because sometimes I can't go to the gym and I'm dying to go out the door and run because it's beautiful, tight, it's sunny, we're in the middle of summer and I'm stuck at home. 
Um, I can't do running, I can't do um, weight with my legs, I can't swim, I can't um, do stepper. There's a lot of things that I can't do for the moment. I can do the elliptical, I can do yoga, stretching, all that kind of thing, but I can't run and it drives me insane. So I look forward to starting running again, but I feel like I will have to start from the beginning um, another time. But I do that, I pop on my sneakers and I go out the door to walk the dog so it doesn't drive me too nuts, but I'm really pissed that I can't run from the moment. That's something I never thought I would say one day that I miss running because when I started running I was really bad, I thought it was hell. When I come back from a run I'm like red, sweaty, but it feels so good afterward and I really miss that after run feeling. When you're in the shower it's cold and you think like wow I really amazed myself and I pushed myself until the end and I'm proud of me so I hope I'll be back to running anytime soon. If I am I will let you know of course. Um, I'm gonna do more health and fitness videos um, if you have any requests, pop them below. I'm going to do a vegetarian Q&A video, so if you have any questions about being vegetarian, pop them down below. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.